A lot of paint these days comes in dropper bottles. In fact, there's several companies out there that only produce paint in dropper bottles. Yet, for some reason, Games Workshop still puts theirs in tiny little pots. And they're not the only company that does it. P3 still use pots and a few others as well. And whilst these are fine, I find it very difficult to get that paint into the airbrush. So I'm going to show you how to transfer everything you want from this to this. Very simply, all you need is the following things. Some airbrush thinner, some airbrush flow improver. And you do need both. There's a reason for both. You're going to need a dropper bottle. I mean, the... You're also going to need something to agitate the paint with. I've got some steel ball bearings used for like BB guns and a plastic funnel. You could try doing it without, but really you do really want one. Drop your agitator into the pot, give it a damn good shake. And then once you've got everything nice and firmly mixed in there, have a look at the paint. This is a base paint from GW. It's going to be a little bit thicker and this is actually really quite thick and claggy. It's going to take quite a lot of thinning to get through into the bottle. So we're going to add in 25 drops of airbrush flow improver. Once that's gone in, they're going to add it in 25 drops of thinner. And the reason we're adding in both is because they change the properties of the paint a little bit. They help balance each other out. The flow improver is thicker than water, so it stops it going too thin. The thinner helps dry it. The flow improver keeps it wet. So therefore, it kind of balances out in the end. And there's your paint nice and mixed. Next thing you want to do is grab your dropper bottle, grab your funnel, and then pour the paint carefully through the funnel. Make sure you try and keep all of that just straight through. Don't get it all over your desk and so on. Pour that all in, get as much of it out as you possibly can, but don't put the ball bearing in there because it will clog this little nipple cap we've put on the dropper ball. Once that's on there, put your main cap on. You don't need this thing. Get rid of that. Put your main cap on there, and then, bang, there's your paint. Last thing to do, take the label off the one bottle, put it onto the new bottle, and then away you go. You're ready to start using these paints. Now, I know a few people might be a little bit concerned about the viscosity of the paint. Have I thinned it too much? Well, let me show you on our palette here. If we put a little drop of this on there, grab a brush and have a little play with it, you'll see that the paint is still thicker than you'd want to use to paint a mini anyway. You're going to thin it past this with some water, and that's why we've used the flow improver and the thinner to help keep the paint properties roughly the same. Now, as a bonus, if you've got something that's in a dropper bottle, like, for instance, a wash, and you knock it over, it's not going to go everywhere. So all of you people posting pictures of null oil spills and shit on Reddit, you can stop that now. Just put everything in a dropper bottle. Hope you guys have enjoyed the video. We'll see you soon. Peace out.